Being outdoors, enjoying wildlife, is a big part of living in the big sky country. And when you visit folks from all across Montana, it's common to see that our interest in wildlife comes home with us in a variety of forms of wildlife art. And now a local artist from Anaconda is taking his indoor creations outside in a big way. But moose have always intrigued me because of their size, just the way they move you know, through the timber and, and, and the habitat they live in. What we'll do today is we're going to start cutting it up. It's kind of funny because everybody comes to the studio and one of the first questions they ask is, how are you going to get it out of here? Well, he's going to go out in pieces. It's not like building a boat in your basement, you know. And then we'll take all of those parts to the foundry and they will start the molding process. They'll pour hot wax into that mold and then the mold is peeled away and then we'll melt the wax out of the mold and they'll pour the molten metal into where the wax used to be. And then all of that the shell is broken off of that and then it'll be all welded back together and they'll have to grind out all of the seam lines and then we'll start the patina process which is uh, the coloring process and that's actually the last step. When you uh, see it put on a site and, and about to be installed that's probably the most exciting part about it and most satisfying. The bronze weighs 1200 pounds but a live moose of this size would weigh over 1500 pounds. This is Mike Gurnett out among Montana's Fish, Wildlife and Parks.